to the channel, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing. It's going to be another short and sweet. So let's tap in and see what the message is for us on today. Um, I have already recorded a short and sweet today, but let's see if the energy has shifted yet. Um, I'm noticing that the first half of day, the messages are one thing. And by the evening, the messages shift into the next um, energy for that day. Okay. So, okay. They're showing me like a sun and moon energy, like, you know, anyway. Okay. Um, all right. So the eight of wands, the star card and the page of wands, you guys are balanced out in your energy as well. Being that I'm saying the sun and moon, this is giving like yin yang energy, the eight of wands, the star and the page of wands. There's some type of communication coming towards you. This could be news, news about travel, news about receiving some form of recognition, um, news of the future. You could be talking about the future, like making future plans. Okay, I keep hearing this song in my mind um, by Wale. I've been making plans. Okay, somebody, you're making plans. Plans for you. Yeah, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands is here twice because the Eight of Wands is already showing up in the card, right? But then you got the Page of Wands paired with the Seven of Wands. It's giving more Eight of Wands. There's a lot of planning or communication or travel or planning to travel or planning to travel for some sort of conference, okay, or speaking event, okay? Um, I'm not sure. Someone could call you and invite you to come speak at their event. Someone could feel like you speak very eloquently, okay, very very something that like it's like something that you have to say or when you speak you change lives or you're very effective very influential at what it is that you are doing or whatever you do um or are passionate about okay a lot going on with your passions your desires being ignited feeling on fire um feeling energized okay um i did a read already and i said that you guys are energetically bossed up so um, I feel like we're going to pick up there. All right. We have the queen of swords. And we have the six of swords. You've defeated um, some form of opposition here. And it's like now you can have peace. The five of swords, this opposition could have had to do with someone that was trying to sabotage something that you were saying or something that you were planning Okay, the nine of pentacles is here. So you have claimed your independence or broken free of this energy. The lovers, this could have been going on with you and a lover. Someone could have been trying to disturb um, the plans that you and a lover had or the plans that you and a lover were making. Okay, the king of wands, the temperance, okay. Sagittarius, heavy Sag energy with the King of Wands. I could be speaking to a masculine Sagittarius. I don't have to be, though. Um, this could just be someone who's in a relationship with an Earth Angel. The Ace of Swords. The way has been cleared. The way has been cleared. The path has been cleared. You guys can move forward. Be gentle and patient with yourself as you do. The Moon card is here. Yeah, someone was behind the scenes trying to sabotage your plans. Okay, I feel like that didn't go. That didn't go well. That didn't go well. The Queen of Cups. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or it could be someone's mother. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. This mother is at a loss, or this this feminine energy doesn't have to be a water sign at all okay you could be the water sign that this is happening to all right but the five of pentacles is here whoever this person is um they are at a loss at this time the four of wands wow and this this masculine or this fire sign aries leo sagittarius ophiuchus energy um is stable yeah the seven y'all defeated something here you could have defeated someone in the Seven of Wands, um, you defended yourself or you defended yourself and someone else. I feel like you made your ancestors proud in whatever this is that you did to protect your family. You could have had to fight someone off or dismiss an energy with the Five of Pentacles. You, you, you could have ab abandoned an energy. 
or a mother could feel like you abandoned them. But I feel like you, it was like you had to do it to save yourself with the four of wands. Okay. To save yourself. Yeah. The hair of fine. I feel like God called you to do this. God called you to make a call to sacrifice someone. And I feel like you did. It was so that you could evolve. Because y'all know people can pull you off of your path and then you lose everything and you have to start as a page all over again, right? But somebody was like, forget that. <laughs> somebody said, forget that. They took their spiritual journey or path serious here. They made the right move. Someone could have released someone that was cold or detached or elusive. Short and sweet. I feel like whoever you are, you made the right call. Okay, the two of cups. You cleared the way for you and your person, you and a person. And this has somebody sad with the five of cups, the king of pentacles. The earth sign could be sad. A masculine earth sign, Capricorn Taurus Virgo, could be upset. They could be upset that this masculine. Oh, so this could be an ex. Your ex could be an earth sign. They could be mad that you cleared the way for you and someone else. They could feel like you abandoned them. They could be sad or devastated by this. I feel like someone was caught off guard. The Four of Cups. Yeah, they've been rejected. They feeling rejected or they're unsatisfied. Some Or something's, someone's behavior was unsatisfactory. The devil. Oh, well, that's the truth. So you done rejected the devil here. I, so God called you to move away from someone who was toxic, dark, or acting in their devil energy, like they were operating out of their shadow. Someone didn't want to grow or mature, okay? The emperor is here, and you were trying to boss up. You were trying to level up. So you, you saved yourself. You did what you had to do so that you could level up. You went from a king of wands to the emperor. Someone's ex is mad about this level up. The four of pentacles, okay? This is someone that you need to discern or you realize that you needed to discern. Or this is someone who tried to breadcrumb you. And when you chose yourself, they got mad. Oh, they can get glad in them same draws they got on as far as I'm concerned. What y'all think? <laughs> okay, the ace of cups. Yeah, because you're truly loving on yourself right now. You're, you're loving on yourself right now. You tapped and tuned into your self-worth, to what you deserve. The Eight of Pentacles, there's a new contract here for you for doing this. I feel like you're about to be rewarded for doing this, for making this move. Yeah, your angels, oh, your angels are about to bring you justice, honey. Because with the death card here, you brought something to an end. So now you can receive. I feel like something was blocked because you were connected to someone that you needed to apply distance in between the Three of Wands. You needed to put distance in between you and someone else. And you finally did this. And now your blessings can come through. Because your blessings was on bliggity block, okay? Money could have been on block. Something was on block. Energetically, you could have felt blocked, okay? And it's all because God was guiding you to release someone or something or a place. Now that you finally released it, now this abundance can come through with the Ace of Cups. More of this love. Because you, what you did was you mirrored to the energy what to the... Okay, to the energy. What I was trying to say is you've mirrored to the universe the energy that you want to see in return. Well done. Kudos to you. Let me snap it up for y'all. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and pull a short and sweet on this thing. I'm proud of whoever this is I'm reading for. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Heck yeah, you should be proud of yourself too. Ooh, that shot out of there. What does this say? Reward and fortune favor the brave. Yeah, you have to be brave and courageous and making this decision to free yourself from a karmic energy because yo, you was on block. You, your life was on block. I don't know if you realized it. You could have. Maybe you didn't realize how how much um, weight this held. Like what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like you could have thought about it. It could have crossed your mind, but you could have blew it off. Like oh, it, that's not causing me to be blocked. That's not causing my money to slow down yes it is and now look what's about to happen and i just said that now you can receive there's a contract here for you and because you free yourself you're about to be rewarded at the bottom of the deck 
have several seats. So somebody else has to have several seats. I feel like you put someone in timeout. You you put someone in timeout or you put someone, someone could have only had sexual energy or you and this person could have only shared sexual energy and now they're experiencing a tower. I feel like you let go of something that was fake or flawed for something real. Or you let go of something that was temporary, like, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't know y'all's story, but y'all get what I mean, though. Somebody resonates. Thank you for hitting that like button. <laughs> but I am proud of whoever you are because you made the right choice here to free yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this read, my loves, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.